Thank you for joining us in Devo's today. And all this week, we've been talking about the subject matter, the power of a plan. Again, if you've been with me any amount of time, you know this is a big thing to me. I always believe you always ought to have a plan. It could be something as simple as exercise, or that's a big thing, or trying to lose weight, that's really tough. Or, or maybe you're just trying to bring in some extra money. Or maybe you're trying to heal a relationship with a family problem. Whatever the case may be. Or maybe you're trying to overcome mourning. Do you know you don't just naturally heal when you lose your loved one? <laughs> oh, no. You have to work out a plan. I want to encourage you to do it. Now, look with me here. Matthew 12, verse 36. Jesus said, I tell you in the day of judgment, people are going to give account for every careless word they speak. For by your words, you will be justified. And by your words, you will be condemned. Wow, because the Bible says he wants us to speak right. I was talking about this last couple of days. You want to say the right things. That's why you want to claim healing. You want to claim that God's going to give you that job. You want to claim that God is going to bring your loved one back to Jesus. You want to claim it with your mouth before it ever takes place. You want to claim your mountain in which you're trying to overcome. Yeah, people... Most people are pessimists. A pessimist sees a problem in every opportunity, and an optimist sees an opportunity in every single problem. So don't say what you feel. I want you to start speaking what you want to feel, and it will come to you. Okay, down here, you might want to jot this down. Faithless, impoverished conversation leads to impoverished lives. Oh, how true this is. God says, I want you to start talking like a Christian. Start using phrases like amen and praise the Lord and God's in control. And I trust him with all my heart. Even if you don't feel it, but if you speak it, you will begin to feel it. And I promise you that. Look with me in Mark eleven twenty three. 23. Jesus said, and I say to you that whoever says to this mountain, you be taken up and be thrown into the sea. And he doesn't doubt in his heart but he believes that what he says will come to pass. It will be done for him. You know, when you're trying to conquer a big problem, you, you know, you might be a long journey trying to do it, but the way you're really going to conquer it is that you believe in the Lord and you trust in God and you get this unwavering faith, but that unwavering faith begins by you speaking it. I know it's going to take place. I know we're going to build that church. I know we're going to accomplish this, this uh, project. I know that thousands of people are going to be saved because of it. Okay, now, there's all sorts of problems. Well, they become uh, small little problems, and we still have to do it. But you don't have a shadow of a doubt because you're speaking the truth in which God has given to you. Now, look at Philippians 4.8. This is for every believer. This is for everybody. He goes, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, what's ever pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, whatever is, if there's any excellence, if there's anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Wow. I mean, that's a mouthful. Think about good things. Think about positive things. Think about what God's going to do in the future. Think about what a blessing it's going to be to other people. Think about if you overcome that. It's going to help your children or your friends or, or your loved one to overcome because you're going to power them showing you could do it, that they could do it. Listen, God can do it. I want to encourage you. God can do it. God wants you walking down this path. God wants you to boldly announce what it is he wants you to do. Yet once an idea becomes the words out of your mouth, then it comes to life. Did you hear that? So if I have an idea of something God wants me to do, let's say you just keep it in your head. Uh, it's not going anywhere. But let's say you take it out of your head and you stick it in your mouth. Once out of your head and it comes out of your mouth and you speak it, it comes to life. I want you to believe this because I, I want you to get a plan. I want you to put it together. I want you to overcome that problem that you're in. And I want God just to bless you because I think the devil's holding many of us back at this time. So... Listen, I'm going to say it one more time. Most people don't plan to fail. We fail to plan. 